What is going on guys, Medi Ice bring you an online league fight this week against top opponent Ricky Biamonte. Coming into this fight, Ricky is undefeated in the league. He's 4-0. And uh, my record right now is 6-1. My only loss coming by unanimous decision to Deep Space Ghost. For those of you that don't play Xbox One or aren't familiar with Ricky Biamonte, he spent a good chunk of time when the game first came out in the top 10 on the leaderboards. And uh, I guess after the reset, leaderboard reset, is when he started falling off. But uh, he's not too far off. He's still top 120. As you could see a moment ago with the character select screen, it's no secret that he's going to be looking to stand and bang in this fight. I can expect that his ground, his takedown defense is going to be on point. He's got all of his ground attributes maxed out at 100 apiece. So that takedown defense is definitely up there. The question is just going to be, if can I take him down? And what can I do once I take him down? For those of you that are familiar with me and my fighting style, you know that this style of opponent is nothing new to me. I've been here thousands of times before. My goal, get him to the ground and uh, just survive with him on the feet until I can get him down. There on the tail of tape, everything virtually identical. He was one inch shorter than me, but we both have a 77 inch reach. There is Bruce Buffer doing the introductions to the fight. I know you guys can't hear him, and it's kind of a pain right now, but I'm in the process of getting a game capture, and as soon as I get that, the quality of my videos is going to be loads better than it is now. But uh, yeah, just these few more weeks, maybe... In the next month, I'll definitely have my new capture card, and uh, I hope I can bring you guys a lot better content. With the game capture, I'll be able to record 1080p and 60 frames per second, which is going to look just so much better than what you're seeing now. What you're seeing now is basically what I live streamed to Twitch and then downloaded from Twitch to my computer and then made a couple minor edits and then upload it to YouTube so the process will definitely be a lot easier too with the Elgato. There my fighter is Michael Thompson repping Chi Town, Chicago, Illinois, Chi Rack with his record of six and one. The first round is underway. I come out with the taunt. I'm pretty cocky. And I trade with him a little bit, get a couple parries in, parry head kick. But he shoot the takedown right away. And he just starts moving forward. He gets me backing up and he's just just charging me. I try to back him up a little bit, be a little bit offensive, but his combos are good. You see me do a parry head kick quite often in this fight. I uh, probably do it a little too much. It's kind of become a bad habit at this point because I'll do it even in bad situations when I don't have much stamina. So I'm getting used to not doing that as much, but that's about the only significant strike I land against Ricky Biamonte throughout this fight. There you can see him just working my body, working my head, mixing it up, going downstairs, upstairs, and I'm just trying to catch him off balance and get a takedown. He's throwing haymakers to the body and head, and he's doing a good job of mixing them up. Here I initiate a clinch, and uh, I let him get a takedown just so I could try to work any of my ground game. But he knows what's up and he stands up. 
He knows my ground game and he doesn't want anything to do with that. A technique you see Ricky using a lot is he'll do a couple body shots and if I'm weak blocking that automatically makes my got my character block his body but what that does is it gives him the opportunity to land a power shot on my head holding LB or RB there again you saw him go uppercut to the body and then an overhand right that's a nice little thing he likes to add to his strikes, add to the end of his combinations especially. Here he's got me backing up in survival mode. I should have taken down after a quick back dash. He hits me with the cage strike and head kick combination just to knock me down at the end of the round. He definitely won that round. Alright you guys, that's actually all the commentary I'm going to do for this portion of the video. I'll catch up with you at the end of the fight.
As you guys can see, here I get a takedown, I immediately transition a stat guard, then side control, and get mount with ease. Ricky performs a couple quick ground transitions, I have really low stamina, so he actually does succeed in putting me in half guard, and he works me all the way back to his full guard, but I do the same thing as before, go to stat guard, side control, and he does a good job of blocking full mount here. Tries the side mount reversal, but I block that as well. And he ends up giving up his back here. So I know he's expecting me to put my hooks in, so I switch it up on him. I go north-south and go for the choke. There you guys have it. I locked in the Peruvian necktie for the win. And that's how I became the UC OMMA light heavyweight champ.